We're at South High School where tonight, in the last game of the season, the Red Wings will host Manitowoc Ships. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Yes, I am a Cub fan and it's been 107 years, Chris, not 108, but uh, that's another story. Let's talk about tonight's game. A couple weeks ago, we thought North would have a decent chance against Manitowoc based on the record. Uh, that certainly didn't pan out. Uh, if we go by tonight by the record, it would seem like South would have a chance. Manitowoc comes in 2-6, and six, uh, South 1-7. and seven. Yeah, both teams struggling this season. And, uh, yes, uh, the North-South game was really close in the first half, and South just blew the doors off North, and they put up over 40 points against North. And... Last week, Manitowoc put up over 40 points against North in the first half, so it should sound like it should be a very good with ball game. Uh, Manitowoc, who looked like they were struggling in the league a little bit this year, basically they've beaten kind of like the same similar teams. Uh, Manitowoc beat Pulaski and North, and South barely lost to Pulaski up there, but, but clobbered North as well. Yeah, and uh, Manitowoc, in looking at the stats and prepping for tonight's game, look like they're pretty balanced, but they like to run the ball more, which is the way they've been over the years what do you think about that yeah unfortunately last year they lost their coach coach Dixon passed away last year and so they have a new coaching staff and a new team but they do have two kids that that like Marty said balance and running they have the seventh and eighth leading rusher in the conference and so I would think they're going to try to attack South on the ground uh, which most teams have tried to do this year too I think as the years progress South has gotten a lot better on their defense from way in the beginning of the year and actually you know have stopped teams so I think a key for for this game is who can run the football more effectively uh, taking the flip side a little bit on the passing game, Trevor Feast uh, is completed about half his passes, uh, but he's got 10 touchdown passes. That seems a lot for the number of attempts that he's had. Yeah, he's got uh, 10 touchdowns and five interceptions, and you know, for a kid to be throwing around 50%, you know, it's pretty good, and you know, especially for a team that struggled this season. So, yeah, they do like to do a little bounce, but I'm still counting on the run to make a big difference. One of the guys that uh, has appeared to show up more frequently the latter part of the season is Mason Prunick. Last year led the, the team in uh, receptions, and he's got to be up there this year. Yeah, he, he's eighth in the league in receptions, and we, you know, we kind of talked about it at the beginning of the year. We need him to get the ball more often, and <laughs> lo and behold, late in the year, he's getting it. Too bad there's not more games for him to have it. But we want to welcome Yes, uh, to have a receiver to catch the, to uh, kind of counter uh, Matt Kittleson, who's had a wonderful junior season this year, something South definitely likes. Jacob Rice had to step in for uh, Tyler Ginther, who uh, was injured, and uh, he's done an admirable job. Doesn't throw the ball. Uh, maybe as accurately as, as you'd like, but uh, he certainly is a threat when he runs the ball. Yeah, he's quick, and I've kind of mentioned over the years when he came in as a freshman, he was a little bit slow, but he worked very hard on his speed the last two years, and we definitely saw it a couple weeks ago. So he can, you know, either fake and squeeze his legs a little bit. You know, he does have to throw a little zip on the ball. He'll probably uh, do a little pitching for Coach Clay this uh, spring and play a little second base, but, you know, Jacob's a really intelligent kid, obviously a coach's kid. And uh, it's nice to see him really develop through the year and put into a situation when you know so much was expected out of Tyler. One thing that was uh, <laughs> you know disheartening when I was looking at the stats and looking at the points given up, and uh, Saul's defense is going to have to do the job tonight. I mean, there's just no way around it if they want to want to win the ball game. Yeah, they're they are struggling on defense a little bit. They're they're on the bottom three down there, but you know that. That again goes, you know, it's with such a tough league up on the top side. There's going to be a lot of teams in the playoffs. You got the Pier, who's ranked number two in Division Two, and and Bayport. Those two teams are battling tonight for the conference championship. Both teams probably will fare very well, and Notre Dame does well in Division Three. So, you know, these are the two teams on the bottom of the league, you know, and both playing for a lot Ladies of pride. And, and you know, South would like to end their homecoming, their last rise. time the seniors and are out here the with a victory. All right, with that, we're going to step well, out. When we come back, we'll have the kickoff for tonight's anthem, football game. High band. If I ride, I will know the way the trees smell after the rain. I will grow a heart so strong that hospitals will take Tuesdays off. If I ride, road rage will turn into laughter and oil tankers will haul chocolate milk. And I won't be a boy or a girl. I will just be a rider. Oh. Oh, so dude, I did the most shocking thing today. 
It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? Foster care. Just being there makes all the difference. Are you connected? If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications and I'm pretty positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JJRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day, so someday I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. Where, where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Guess it's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Sheboygan South getting ready to uh, receive the kickoff to uh, begin the ball game uh, back deep. For uh, the Red Wings is uh, Antoine Flowers. He's uh, pretty quick and he's pretty shifty. So if he can find a lane, he can get through it. Doing the kickoff chores for the ships is Hunter Saubert. A lot of players for South. Now they back up a little bit. You can see them there on the left of your screen, spreading out a little more. Manitowoc still bunched. And now they start to spread out to uh, cover sideline to sideline. Squib kick taken on the 31. And taking it up the field for South is uh, Sean Musen. And right away, Marty, you like that. An up man gets the ball and runs with it, unlike when we exactly. go to the north side where they hit the turf. Look what a difference is. He got the ball about the 30. Instead of falling down, look at where they are. They're at the 45. Good field position right away for South. South coming uh, right out, not uh, huddling up. Jacob Rice, number 10, is a quarterback. Kittleson alongside of him. Bad snap. Fake to Kittleson. Rice right up the middle. He's got an opening. He's to the 40. He could go. The 30. The 20. He's going to make it. Touchdown. Cheboygan South. First play of the game from 55 yards. Bad snap. <laughs> I don't know if he no was problem. <laughs> no problem. How about that 55 yards, Jacob Rice? 16 seconds in. What took so long? <laughs> I'll tell you, Rice spotted the opening and uh, you know, headed he, up the field and he turned on the afterburners. Yeah, he did. You just could see they trying to put an extra gear in there and now he's got to catch the uh, the snap here. I think he's a little winded. <laughs> good snap that time and the kick is up and good by uh, Antoine Gorillo Flores. And just like that, South on the board. We like that, Chris. That was fun.
I don't know. Boy, if that's got to be the quickest that uh, any of the Sheboygan teams have scored this year. And in years. And, uh, you know, it's strange on that. I'm sure that was one of those, uh, you know, option plays. Either he's going to keep it or hand it off, and he just decided to take it there. And Well, Kittleson went in front of him, and yeah. know, he did kind of stick the ball out. Right. The timing was, was all moved up. But, uh, Yep. He got through that opening. Hey, Scott, any chance of seeing that play again? And I think the thing with the read was the uh, with the read option there is after the poor snap, Kittleson was already by him. Yeah, exactly. So he had no choice. Exactly. Than to uh, just take off. And uh, actually, he uh, did the correct reading. No uh, moves had to be made. Basically, just outrun the defense. Went straight up the field. Isaac Pettan, one of the uh, deep men for uh, the ships. And I believe it's uh, Hunter Saubert, the other man back there, the uh, kickoff man for uh, the ships. Flores' kick is not very deep, taken by Pedon at the 20. And he's gonna lean forward and get knocked down at the 37 or 38 yard line. Tackle made by number 78, Cameron Baldwin. I'll tell you, Pedon, we'll talk about him a little bit. He's a nice, nice baseball player. All conference. All state honorable mention. He can run too. Leads off for the ships. And here comes the ships. Yeah, Isaac Pedon, senior. And off to a quick running back. Oh, no. Gets through the line of scrimmage. He's got a first down. That was uh, nice Bailey Seidel. First and 10, ball spotted on the 47-yard uh, line. 15-yard run. We said they're going to have to stop the run and watch the quickness here. And right motion for a man to walk inside handoff this time. Heading off tackle and gaining big yardage was Logan Miklick. Boy, oh boy, Chris, they're uh, gashing our uh, defense. Yeah, they are. And that's going to be another first down for the Manitowoc Lincoln Ships. You might have been Ball able to hear in the background another first down for Manitowoc. Yeah. Ball down to the 32. They're going awfully quick. Another 15 yard run. Way. This time around the end. Not getting anything that time. Number 25 on the carry. Making the tackle that time was uh, Sean Mewson. Yeah, Kyle Alvarez strung that one out too, but. Uh, Gain of one, second and Antoine coming right at you. Watch this here. Right into your, your homes. Good camera work there by our crew. Second down and nine, handoff. It's going deep, or pardon me, going wide and getting the first down for Manitowoc was uh, Seidel again. Yeah, Monty Mathis there, he's playing the end over there, number four. He's got to contain that. He's got to get out and make sure to push that runner back to the inside so the Red Wings can uh, get more of their guys over there. You can't let the ships get outside. Wall is being spotted on the 22 yard line. It was an eight yard gain. He's giving them nine yards. It's going to be a first down. Wow, after that loss. Yeah, well, they gave him one yard on the on the very short run. Taking it up the middle and gaining yardage was uh, Logan Mikulik. Carried by number 35, Logan Mahalik. Tackle made by number four, Monty Mathis. Five Second down, gain, gain of five, five that time. Five too many, too many uh, big chunks of yards, Marty. Exactly. First they go outside, that time they go to the inside. They did you get those those ends sprung out wide to create holes more in the Keep gap. Keep an eye on Latour out here wide to the left. You can't see him on your screen right now. He's their leading receiver. Take it right up the middle. Mikulik leaning forward. 
I don't know if he got the first down, Chris. It's going to be close either case. It's going to be a pickup of four. It's going to be third down and one. I wouldn't put the ball up, Mari, the way they're gashing. No, so. I wouldn't either. It's, it's not worth the risk. McClick is the uh, lone setback. They send a man in motion, hand it off to him, going wide. Oh, contain. He's going to get the first down and knock down at about the five-yard line. That was uh, Jake Rathshack, their leading runner, making his first carry, second carry. That's just good decision-making there by the runner there. He strings it outside, and then when he can't anymore, you just turn it upfield. Picked up eight on the play, Chris. Yeah, Rathshack, he's seventh in the league in rushing, coming in with 490 yards. Fake, fake. Wide open. Pass to the end zone is caught by number 80. That was uh, Braxton Kyle. Uh, that's why he's got the 10 touchdowns, Chris. Well, get it down here and then throw yeah. the short pass. Yeah. And really set it up nice with the fake run. And uh, they've got a chance to tie it up, kicking the extra point, or at least attempting it as Saubert. Good snap and kick. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Kick is going to be wide. No good. South still on top with 9.02 left in the first. 7 to 6. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? A national runaway switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Back at South High School there, you see Manitowoc, uh Took their kickoff, marched it right down the field. South really didn't have much of a drive. They took took a short return up to the 45 on a squib kick. And then uh, Jacob Rice ran 55 yards for the touchdown. Uh, South made the extra point. Manitowoc did not. So there's your score, 7-6 to six South. Again, Flowers is back deep for the Red Wings. Well, if you're the defensive coach, you just got to be livid with the way the uh, defenses have played so far tonight. Salbert again with a squib kick taken in the air. Oh, what are you doing? He fair caught it. <laughs> he put up his hand and said, really? fair catch. Yep. I don't like that anyway. How can you fair catch a line drive? <laughs> Barely got time to get your glove up. I mean, your hands. <laughs> Watch this. You'll see the signal here. If you watch it here on the screen, into the deep corner here, he'll raise his hand right there, and then it came at him so fast he didn't have time. Oh well. Great field position again, 38 yep. yard line. Three wide receivers off to the right. Rice in the shotgun. The man in motion. That's going to be a pass play, Chris. But not a good cut, though, by the uh, receiver. That was Flowers, I believe. Yep. Sometimes I think what they want to do, Chris, is get a lot of yards when they should just take what they've got. Uh, he's just a freshman, still learning. Yep, you're right there. That's a good point. There you see Blaze Orange in the man at walk side. Yeah. Fake handoff, and then they give it to uh, the deep back up the middle, and he lost the yardage and uh, still struggling. I think they think they're hunting birds over here. Yeah. The runner that time for South was Matt Kittleson. Matt comes in sixth in the league in Russia. We mentioned that in the opening. 125 carries this year for Matt, 502 yards. You can do the math pretty simple yeah. there. It's about four yards to carry. Third down. Kittleson 
Fake. Nobody open. Rice looking, has great protection, and throws it up the middle, and the pass falls incomplete. Tended receiver was Kittleson, but uh, pass was uh, incomplete. Hanky on the field, though, Marty. We might have defensive holding. Great protection by the line, Marty. Yes. Anchored by Dylan Callahan, the senior. I don't know, the uh, head referee signaled something what? to the Manitowoc side. Why are you throwing a flag at the 35 and there's nothing called? I think they're warning, uh, sideline warning to uh, get back. There's a certain area you have to stay out of so the officials can move up and down the field. It's going to be fourth down. Pretty high snap, but uh, the kick is away. High one taken at the 26. Saubert oh, eludes a, a couple back. of tacklers, and then he's knocked down at the 34. That's right. Emmy with a nice block in the back right in front of the official. They don't get a call there. Saubert with a good kick. See it, there he goes, see if he can catch that right block. Right there, number 99 gets blocked in the back. That's Logan Hamilton. Right in front of the official. They apparently thought it was more on the side than in the back. They're wrong. They didn't have our view. Hand up, hand off, up the middle, and South looking pretty stout on that play. Uh, basically no gain that time for Mikulik. Mewson on the stop there, I believe. Giving them two yards on that play. Manitowoc's had a lot of success running the ball, especially on that first possession. Uh, South looked a little better on the run defense that play. Uh oh. And uh, that small running back, Seidel, is uh, really quick. Yeah. I'll tell you, he, uh, not even the top two running backs on their team, but he's sure with that speed, looks like he has potential for big gains and big yards, Marty. Watch him come right through here. Whoosh. Right past the South defender, third and short. Hand off inside, and it's right at the line. Let's see if they give him forward progress. It looks like this official. <laughs> Keeps moving towards yeah, the he, south side. <laughs> he's going to leave it short. <laughs> he was over about the 45. He can't, he's still moving. <laughs> yeah, it's. Did you see who carried the ball? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Mikulik. <laughs> Coming out the measure, I think he's going to be just short. Oh, that was funny. That official was over the 45 and then kept going. Well, maybe not. It is a first down. I was watching the referee on our side walk up to the middle of the field, and it was if he'd have been taking a test on the highway, <laughs> he would have failed. <laughs> it was zigzag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First and 10 at the uh, 44. Right up the middle. Again, and they gain about three or yeah, about three yards on that. Miklik again. Five forty, excuse me, five fifty three left. Quarter number one, seven six, south. There's Rathshack looking. They cut him. He makes a good cut back up the field, but uh, good pursuit by the Red Wings. They stop him at the 49, a short gain of two yards. It's going to be third and five. Again, Mathis that time. Learning from his earlier mistake, but he did a nice job there to push him to the inside and limited the uh, the gainer for Mantwalk. See number four there, good job. Had to turn it up and nothing there. Third and a, maybe a passing situation for Manti. Fake to a couple of the running backs. Feast has good protection, throws it down the middle. He's got a receiver. He's at the 20, and he gets knocked down inside the 20. 
That catch was made by the same gentleman, Kyle, who uh, caught the touchdown pass. Defensive back was trying to catch up to the uh, receiver there and then overran it. And a big gainer. Feast to, to Kyle. 34 yarder. Quick out. Nobody here. To a wide receiver was not covered and getting it down to the one yard line was Isaac Pettan, one of the kids that uh, was on the uh, kickoff return team. Yeah, and you had nothing but good things to say about him yeah. as a baseball player. Yeah, he's, he's a hell of a player. First and goal, ball spotted on the uh, two yard line. Look at his speed. Oof. All right, Feast takes the direct snap, hands it off to Saubert. He's trying to lean in, but I think he's going to be short. Picks up a yard. Call it the one. They've been getting the push, Chris, up front almost all the time. You know, they've, the one time we thought uh, Rathshack was hit in the backfield, but he gained a yard or two. But... Uh, their offensive line has been moving bodies. Inside handoff, Saubert uh, takes it in for the touchdown. One yard plunge, Marty. Yeah, Hunter Saubert, they uh, wanted to make sure they got a senior in the end zone that time, which they did. Kyle, also a senior, scored the other touchdown. A little too much, uh, a little too much running by the ships. Extra point attempt this time is uh, hits the upright and it's no good again. We have one four twenty one left in the first quarter and uh, there's been a lot of scoring. There you see it, the plunge. Five ten, two hundred pound running back. 12 to 7, Manitowoc on top. Uh, I'll tell you, Chris, we've run into this all season, whether we're on the north side or the south side, and that's the defense. Yeah, it's just consistent stops. You know, we just can't seem to uh, stop the opponent, and not a good issue. Just uh, need more kids to play, need more. more more players get out and play the game. I uh, got two very dedicated coaches with uh, very good backgrounds on the north and south side with Scott Rice here at south. Coach Zablocki now taking over at north. So much success at Cedar Grove. Flowers back deep again. Saubert just scored the touchdown. Kicks this one a little more conventionally taken by Flowers on the uh, 21. Trying to get to the outside. Does a little jitterbug and gets tackled at about the uh, 33. Well, we learned a little bit on the last drive that uh, there's going to be some uh, pass protection for uh, Jacob. What would help, Chris, if they could uh, sustain a little bit of a running game or at least uh, show one, you know, and then when you fake the run, defense has to play a little honest and, like you said, hopefully keep, keep the quarterback protected. Here we got five receivers, Marty. Man in motion as Flowers, they fake the him. Rice takes it up the middle, uh, but uh, making the stop for uh, Manitowoc was uh, Isaac Pettan. It's going to be second down. Jacob, meet, meet Mr. Pettan. Yeah, really. Pick up of about one yard on that play for uh, Jacob. It's going to be second and nine. Kittleson in the backfield this time with uh, Jacob Rice. And they uh, fake to him. 
being rushed hard, throws on the run, and it uh, slipped out of his hand and uh, went way out of bounds. You're not going to call this grounding, I hope. There is no way. There's no way this should be grounded. There's just a bad. Oh, that's, that's a just, bad that's call. That's a bad call. That's just a bad call. That is absolutely a horrendous call. That's a horrendous call. We'll see the ball slips That's out of his hand as he's trying to... Uh, that is just a poor, poor call. Well, there was a receiver in the area. It was over his head. That's just a poor, poor call. Okay, they move the ball back to the 29-yard uh, line. the flag back in your pocket. And it a is a loss of down too, yep. Chris. Oh, so yeah. it's a third down and 15 now. That was just a bad call by that official. Also, we have Tyler Ginther in at uh, wide receiver. Nice to see him on the field. You know, if there's no receivers, nothing around or anything, that's one thing. That was just poor. Oh, defense in there quickly. Rice slips by the first and he fumbles it. He's saying the ball was down. So it'll go as a sack. And it'll be fourth down and a whole bunch. No place for Jacob that time. No. That's a good thing. Well, Tanner Schmitz has got one stat that he probably doesn't want to have, and that's that he leads the league in punting. Not yards, but most punts. <laughs> Kick is away, taken by Saubert on the 45. He's up to the 50. And still on his feet and gets down near, and a flag comes in very late. He's down near the uh, south 45 yard line. Mason on the tackle for uh, south. And, uh, let's see what the call is. Holding on Manitowoc on the return. They'll keep the ball, but it's going to be moved all the way back to the 44-yard line, Chris. That's a lot of yard yardage lost on that uh, penalty. All righty. The ships break the huddle. The uh, deep back doesn't get the ball. They hand it off to their uh, scat back, Bailey Seidel. And here's that official with a makeup call. He's going to call the holding here. Yep. Let's make this up here now. Well, they made it up twice. And no, well, it's the same official. The first time Mantua gets the ball, he's going to throw a flag from way downtown. I've kind of criticized the official so far. First, we had a flag down and nothing called. Now we had an official. Well, you mean that uh, block in the back? No, the uh, first one that was way on the opposite side, and the first time South had the ball, and you said it was. A warning to the other side. Oh, right, 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 but right. But then you don't need your flag. Second, you had the uh, official at the 45, ends up at the 43 for a spot. And that, so I shouldn't be doing that, Marty. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> and uh, you will hear from my wife about that. <laughs> <laughs> Quick out. Nobody here. Oh, uh, Good catch made by the uh, receiver, Pedon, and then uh, making a nice stop for the Red Wings was uh, Nathan Dyken. Yeah, AJ Gatouris was playing safety, and they had a corner out here, but nobody was, was covering up on the back out here, Pethon. Fake handoff, Feast has it, looking down the field. Now he's going to tuck it and run. He's got some room, and he's knocked down right at the 50-yard line. Picked up about eight yards on the scramble. 
Hard to know if it was a scramble, Chris, or, de or a designed run, but uh, in I either case, he uh, gained good yardage. I think he wanted to pass, but he saw an opening, and Senior took it, took it under his own wings and got it's third it. down and five. Make it actually third and four. Hand off to Rathsack. He leans forward. He's going to be short of the first down, it looks like, Chris, at the uh, south 47-yard line. I thought he lunged across there. It's fourth down. If I'm in the ships, I'm going for it. Uh, I hear you. I'm with you there. I know it's at midfield, but south has done basically just one TOL tonight. Fourth and one. First back through, gets hit behind yeah. the line of scrimmage and pushed back. Gaining nothing and actually losing a yard was uh, Aaron Plod Pledro. Nice job there by the South D. Step up. They had one other uh, loss from scrimmage. That was the second one and that was a big one. 43.6 seconds left. Watch in this. the quarter. Nice. Mason Punick there on the stop. Rice looking and then tucks it under and goes. And a uh, nice tackle made out on the wing by Manitowoc uh, by Peter Pritzel. But uh, Jacob Rice on a nice run. Ships right up on the line here. Second down and three, gain of seven. Hand off Kittleson through the line. Oh, good tackle made by Schaubert. But Kittleson has the first down. It's going to be 12 seconds left in the quarter and counting. Let's see if they get one more playoff here, Marty. Just a just a slight win, but basically none tonight. Eight, seven, six. Fake handoff, Rice has it. There looked like there was a hold on the wing, but no call. Rice has it. He could go. Oh. He's tripped up at the 15 yard line. If we see that play again, you look in the backfield or on the left uh, end, you see a south blocker right there. Looked like it might have been a hold, but no call, so it stands. It's gonna, and that's the end of the quarter with Manitowoc on top, 12 to seven, but uh, South knocking on the door. Every day, thousands of people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest. Would you know how to help? Or would they be all alone? Learn what to do at heartrescuenow.com. Usually, a texting and driving prevention ad would show you some shocking statistics, or maybe a sad family member that lost someone. They might even show you the last text they sent to scare you. But one of the most scariest statistics is about time. Specifically, the amount of time you're not able to watch the road. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. It's going to be uh, first and 10 for South. Ball is spotted on the 14-yard line. A great run by uh, Jacob Rice. Just starting second quarter action. Kittleson in the backfield with Rice. And whistles before the play is run. Let's see what that's all about. What's, why are they looking at the clock? Oh, it's 12 minutes. Okay, time wasn't up. All right, now we're set to go. Uh-oh. Rice uh, is going to get caught in the backfield, and he loses about three yards. That time, the handoff to Kittleson would have been the 
<laughs> right play. Nobody the more prudent play, let's put it that way. And nobody went with Kittleson, and everybody went with Rice. Sets up second in about 14. Watch this. Nobody goes with Kittleson here. <laughs> Rice looking, oh boy. and he gets by one tackler and a second tackler, but not the third. He gets knocked down at about the 19-yard line. It's going to be another loss. Oh, boy. Third down and a bunch. I think from right here we're talking uh, four down territory. Try two chances here to get to your 14 yards. There you see Rice, number 10. Prunick uh, to his right, number 25. Evan, he hasn't touched the ball yet. Fake handoff to Kittleson. Got him. Rice over the middle, person wide open, and making a catch was Tyler Ginther, who was slated to start the season at quarterback until he got injured. Touchdown pass, 19 yards out. That's nice for Tyler. Good for him. Wide open over the middle. Nice Boy, play. was he open. Nice play call. W watch this. Time for Jacob. Watch him now step up. There you can see him Boom. come to cutting in front, and it, nobody just, nobody went with him. That was a good design play. Flores' kick is up and good, and now with 10.38 left until halftime, South has a 14 to 12 lead. That's sweet. Get their score in the touchdown like yep. that. Senior and hurt earlier in the season. And All right, let me ask you this as a coach. You got a kid who's a starter. Does a good job, junior year, comes in his senior year. And you know, somewhere along the line he gets hurt. He's out for a number of games and now he's coming back. Does he retain his uh, position or even if the guy that replaced him was you know, doing well? How do you my, handle something like my that? My first thought when that situation is what, how injured is Tyler? Can well, I'm not just talking Tyler, I'm talking about anybody, right. you know, any, you know, a situation right. where no. you got a starter who's right. out, and now yeah. you got a new guy who's doing the job. Yeah, I would say Tyler would have been, I would have put, you know, a situation I would probably give that kid a chance to turn it back, but... Uh, what do you I, mean, turn it back? Give it back to the original starter, okay. but in this situation, I don't know what's wrong with Tyler, you know, how injured he was, you know, and maybe quarterback isn't in his position anymore, you know, he can't maybe be a quarterback, so he wants to do something else. Because you hear some coaching... Some coaches, their philosophy is you cannot lose your spot right. by, by being injured. You know, you always return to that. Yeah. A very short kick. And rolls Jeez, out of bounds at the 25. Penalty on Manitowoc. South. South. Uh, you have one job. Yeah. Houston Texans did that a couple weeks ago. Mallet got hurt and got hurt a couple weeks ago, and and uh, Ryan Hoyer came in and uh, Mallet never got his job back. Stuff like that happens. Yep. I mean that's how some guys get their uh, you know get their chance. Wally Pip. Yeah, Wally Pip. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a horse on the loose and uh, making a saving tackle for uh, South with Schmitz. Mahalik on a nice run, gets a first down, takes it all the way up to the 47. That's a 12-yard pickup. Yeah. Logan Hamilton not staying back, comes back and pursues and basically saves. Watch, he comes off the line and watch him catch up. Mm. Good job, Logan. Was he the one made to tackle? Yep. Okay, good. Glad we got that squared away. Leroy would never let me forget it. Mahalik on another carry. It's going to be second down. 
tell you, the backs for our Manitowoc just seem like they have such quick feet, Marty. They do make some good cuts. I'll tell you that Seidel is uh, one good uh, running back. South was able to stop in the last drive. Let's see if they can do it again here. Seidel contain, around contain. the corner, spins off a one blocker, spins off a tackler, and uh, has the first down inside the 40-yard line. He's a great change of pace back. Yeah, but they keep hitting the Xbox and uh, buttons, and they keep spinning around in PlayStation. It spins around, spins around. Tough for the South guys to catch them. Ten yard pickup that time. Did I tell you that uh, Manitowoc used six different running backs in the first quarter? Wow. Here's one. There was one of them. Yeah, he had one carry. Uh, that's uh, Aaron Pledro. Pledro picks up about three on the run. It's going to be second and seven. Nine minutes exactly in the first half. South leads by two. Got it. Fake the plate roll. They give it to uh, the big running back, Mahalik. And uh, he gains good yardage. It's going to be, it is going to be third down though. Picked up about five. It's going to be third two. Hand off to Seidel, oh. trying to get it. He just gets level and fumbles. And falling on the ball for Sheboygan South was A.J. Gutierrez. Sean Moosen on the big crunch. And A.J. picks it up. Watch this crunch. Boom. <laughs> he forgot to run around the pile. How about that? Good defense that time. South is going to have it at the 38. First and 10 for the Red Wings. And they have the lead. There's 8-11 left until halftime. Uh, you want to stick around for halftime again uh, this week. South's uh, band is going to be out on the field along with the dance team, and uh, they'll give quite a performance, I'm sure. Nobody's Rice open. Uh, took a little too long. Uh, making the sack that time for Manitowoc was uh, Jerris Parnell. As they say, that would be a coverage sack. There was it's nobody open, and uh, Jacob held it as long as he could. Which was too long. Well, and now he's got the thought, you know, got that grounding before, so. Right, yeah, exactly. Got that playing in the back of his end. Prunick is uh, the slot back off on the right side, number 25 at the top of your screen. Hand off to uh, Kittleson. And uh, he's not going to get much. I don't even think he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, Chris. It's going to be third down. Ships were out there pursuing Kittleson, and he had nowhere to go. Set up third and a bunch here, Marty. Schmitz and uh, Prunick on this side. Prunick's got good speed. He might be the fastest guy out on the field right now. Get him the ball. On an out pattern, Schmitz makes a nice catch and uh, falls forward outside the 40, but he's going to be well short of the first down. First catch for Tanner. For the third time tonight, he'll be punting. If you can have the court and parents start to line up on the south end of the bleachers, please. Homecoming court and parents. Homecoming tonight. Kick is away and oh, 
Not a good kick, Chris. He missed that one. It's going to be uh, Manitowoc's ball at the 40-yard line. It's an 18-yard punt, Marty. South could not take advantage of the turnover. No, and then they compound it with a absolutely horrendous putt punt. Is it about was that about 18 yarder? Yep. All right, one wide receiver, Latour off to the right. Feast at quarterback. Fake the inside handoff, looking deep to Latour. He's wide open. He's got it at the 35, down to the 20, the 10. And into the end zone for the touchdown. David Latour caught the touchdown pass from uh, Tanner Feast. And uh, they had uh, South really fooled, Chris. Yep. He's looking back in the backfield, and that's what happens. A quick strike, 60 yards. <coughs> Feast to Latour. Latour, a pitcher up there for Mantwalk as well. And... Uh, with the extra point problems going on. Who knows? The ships are going back to the two point conversion I've, idea. I've got Latour with 27 catches, Chris, uh, and three touchdowns. Now he's got uh, four touchdowns. Big tall kid, too. Quick out to a Seidel. He's trying to get in, uh -huh. and he does. Fell into the end zone for the two point conversion. Uh -huh. Had him bottled up. Gave up a big strike. Look at this. Two ships there, or yeah, Red two. Wings there. and Just Couldn't stop him. With that, the score is now Manitowoc 20 and uh, South 14. If you like offensive football, this has been a very entertaining game. Very entertaining. Just wish South could have done something with the football after that turnover. You know, make some positive yards. You yeah, know, at least change field position, position a little, a little better. Yeah, and it was almost like they got nothing out of that turnover. Well, the, it was on the very first play of the drive, the sack, yep. the coverage sack. Flowers back deep for the Red Wings. He hasn't touched the ball yet on kickoffs. They've uh, steered the ball away from him. Saubert is going to do the uh, kickoff chores like he has all night. It's our last game of the season, Chris. We will not be doing any playoff games. Talk about that maybe in the second half. I got a, I got a prediction for you. Well, it's not north or south. <laughs> I was looking at the, uh, you know, who's going to make the playoffs and stuff right. today. 32 teams make it from seven div divisions, so 224 teams. But two teams that are in Division Four is undefeated Sheboygan Falls. They could host, you know, Christian Luther and Kohler. That Ooh. would be. Yeah, that'd be a tough, tough matchup. It was well. I just think it's nice for Sheboygan. Yeah, well, Sheboygan. Right. Yep, you exactly. Know, falls yeah. right here. If you like following high school sports? You're there's talking a game. about uh, getting on the bus and traveling two miles to your team's here first. Exactly. It's not saying that's going to happen, but it's a possibility. It could come tomorrow. Big oh. game also tonight okay. is uh, Keel at Falls, both undefeated in conference, yep. playing for first place. I had uh, a viewer ask, you know, why aren't you doing that game and? Yeah. I'm not sure. I think Falls does get our cable system. And I'm not sure about that. If it was at Keel, we definitely wouldn't be doing it because they're uh, out of the out of range of our channel. Flowers corrals it at the 30. Cuts up the field, breaks to the outside. He's got some room to roam. And he gets... The and ball gets knocked loose. It's still rolling on the field. He took a hard hit right on the ball. Uh, and let's see who Monty has it. Mathis, please point the other direction. <laughs> was there we go. South uh, does retain possession. <laughs> Monty Mathis. <laughs> After this. Watch him get hit right there. He's going to hit it knocked right out of his hands. Hit right on the ball. Now watch and this it's ball scoot. Now watch, watch him, <laughs> Mathis, right there. Pointing the wrong direction. 
<laughs> oh, that we love our kids. <laughs> First and 10 ball spotted on the 46-yard uh, line. 6.18 left until halftime. Rice fakes the handoff to uh, Kittleson, and he's hit in the backfield. It's going to be a loss of two. I'll tell you, Chris, uh, looking at his line for this quarter, it's a minus three, minus two, minus five, minus two. I think the ships have adjusted to the... Uh... They're getting uh, used to him running the ball, that's for yep. sure. Three wide receivers off to the right. Two to the left. Well, they have good pass protection, Marty. I would throw it more often. Flowers in motion. They pitch it to him. He cuts it up and uh, gains some yardage, gains positive yardage. A little toss pass to Flowers. 5.30 in the quarter. Quarter number two. It's going to be third down and seven. Kittleson in the backfield. Slant over the middle. Schmitz has it, and he's got a first down and gang tackled at the 35-yard line. That was a nice play, Marty. Just an inside slant. We see a nice out and a nice slant. I love those old-fashioned plays. Nice and simple for a quarterback. Tanner just cuts right in. Boom. First and 10, ball on the 35. Ginther in motion, fake pitch to him. Rice avoids one tackler, Law loses the ball, and Manitowoc falls on it at the 32 yard line. Oh man, tough break for the Red Wings. They're on the move, Chris. Burrs. Well, there's plenty of time for the ships, 444. Now they have three timeouts. Yeah, and the timeouts, you're right, good point. And uh, time for uh, the defense to make a stand here. Here you see the right fumble. A handoff to um, Mihalik, and uh, he gains big yardage again, six or seven yards. It's going to have to be a big, big stop here by yeah. South. It's really tough when you let them gain so many yards on first down. Side handoff to a pet on. No, not pet on. Oh, Pladeral. Pladeral, that was. Get my P's mixed up. And uh, Platero got the first down, Chris. Took it up to the 44-yard line. It's going to be first and 10, Manitowoc. Four minutes and counting. Fake handoff. No, they did get it off. Schaubert through the middle. He's to the 30, the 20, the 10, and he made it. Field was a little too wide, Chris. He had enough room, and he took it from uh, 56 yards out. Just a delayed handoff, Marty. Are you going to see it again? Watch the delay, and then the handoff. Delay, and yep. then give it to him. Almost like a draw play, sort of. Yep. The old-fashioned draw play, yep. There you see, just the uh, field was just wide enough for him to get into the end zone. That hurts. Well, what are they going to do now? Looks like they're going for two. Oh, yeah. They're struggling with the kicker, so. Schaubert. Fake handoff. Throwing. Incomplete. Ah, uh, the receiver was tackled. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been so bad if he'd have caught the ball and then tackled, but they get tackled before. You know what's strange, Marty, is... That's twice now they've passed on two-point conversions. They basically run down the field 
And they had one big strike on, on passing, and they had a, just strange that they don't run the ball more <laughs> when you need the two yards. I'm sure they're going to run now as they really shorten it up here. Right. Saubert takes that delayed handoff again, Chris, and uh, gets it in. Not much of a problem there. And uh, with 345 left, it's 28 to 14 Manitowoc. They've started to open up the lead here, Chris. Well, they took advantage of the turnover. You know, you hit it right on the head when you mentioned that South was on the move, a chance to uh, regain the lead. And a forced fumble. And uh, 59 seconds later, Manitowoc takes advantage and with another big, big play. Yeah, it didn't take them long, did it? Well, their last two uh, scores, one was 11 seconds and the other was 59 seconds. It really shifts it back to the offensive side, Marty, in some way, somehow, in the next four minutes. South offense has got to strike back. You got to be within just a touchdown going into halftime. I think that's a good point, Chris. Got to do something positive these uh, last yep. three minutes or so. Yep, and you do have uh, three timeouts, and I mean, South has been moving the ball. I mean, they... We got a couple of student helpers with us tonight from South High, a couple of seniors. Victor Contreras uh, had a chance to meet him down on the track during our opening. Seems like a really nice uh, young man. And, He's uh, got the camera right down there now, Marty. And helping him out is Antonio Hawking. So no complaining about the camera work, viewers. I think they just complain about us, Marty. Oh boy, an onside kick. Well, that's nice. Actually, you want to know, I don't think that's a bad play. Well, you know what hurts them is they were offside and South could have gotten nice field position. <laughs> I'm not sure South would have got that. But I like the strategy. I do. Well, you see, and you can't say they're rubbing it in because. Oh no. Well, you see, South's all pinched for the onside. <laughs> well, they do, and then they spread out. Yeah. Well, they spread out when Mantwalk spreads there out. There you go. Kick is not very good. Taken at the 32. And a good run back up over the 45-yard line. Well, as it been the case all night, South's got great field position. Nathan Dyken on the uh, return. It's going to be uh, first and 10 for the Red Wings. See if they, they have 337 left, uh, and their timeouts. They got all three timeouts left. Ball is going to be spotted on the 47-yard line. Let's just see if they can execute some plays here. Yes, sir. I agree with you. A fake handoff, and uh, Rice gets hit. We'll give them no gain. Uh, they figured that out this quarter, Marty. Yes, they have. And every time they've run that, it's been negative and puts South in a second and long every single time. Wide receiver is two to the left and two to the right. Rice looking. Got a man, Ginther, on the out, but uh, pass was wide of the mark. It's going to be third down and 10. Tyler tried to turn around there, and I think a ship grabbed his shirt. It made it a little more difficult for him to get around there. And once again, a third long situation. Good pass protection there. Kittleson picking up a... Backer there, Kunick picking up a backer. Right, wide receivers all went to the wrong side. Schmidt's now shifting over to the right side. Ginther is the wide man. You can see the, the top of his helmet at the bottom of your screen. Crossing pattern, Ginther is going to make the nice catch at the Manitowoc 48, but it's going to be short of a first down. Well, you're one in six, Marty. Go for it. One and seven, excuse me. 
Oh, they're gonna punt. Three seat, nice throw, good catch by Tyler. Suppose. Don't want to uh, totally give him a short field. I oh. guess not a bad decision. I agree. Oh! Oh! Or we could have missed gone for the it. kick almost and just shanked it to the Manitowoc 42. A five yard punt. No, 14 yards. Uh, 52. I got a feed kick from the 47. 48. So 10 yards. Whatever it was, it was way short. Things are going bad. 227 going bad. left. Feast is, uh, will be looking for Latour now. Nope, they hand it off to Saubert. Barrels through, puts his head down, and has a first down. 220 and counting. Have a quarter, Saubert. Eight yard run that time. Nine yard run. Fake. Pass to Latour is caught. He goes to the middle of the field, tries to avoid tacklers, and gets down to the 35 yard line. Not only did he try, he succeeded. Look at this cut in here by Latour. Right past some defenders for the Red Wings. And uh, Mantwalk's on the 35. Saubert, the lone setback. They give it to him right up the middle, and he gets tackled at about the uh, 38. Nice tackle there. 33, Silas pardon me. Run. Big uh, senior lineman. Second down and eight. Need to see a lot more of that in the second half. Clock running a minute 30 wow. left until halftime. Interesting. Latour is wide to the left, Chris. You can see him all. Well, now you can't. But uh, Feast looking for him. No, he goes over the middle and making a great catch for Manitowoc was uh, Braxton Kyle. Have a half. He's had a good half too, you're right. And that's gonna be a first down for Manitowoc. Ball's gonna be spotted on the 23 yard line. That was a 10 yard pickup. Feast. Faking, a handoff, rolls out to the right. He's got Schaubert open in the middle of the field. He makes the catch and is knocked down at the five yard line. He was one of about three guys open, Marty. But he's a little slow getting up and he's down, Marty. And I don't think any of the ships. Well, he made a great catch and run and uh, got hit hard, low, and uh, that's why he's down right now. Watch it here. That's where he got it. Making the stop for uh, South was uh, Tanner Klesig. It's gonna be first and goal. Doesn't look as scary as it did last week, Chris, when uh, Jake Fritz went down. I don't know if there's anything to be gleamed from an injury. Just trying to catch up on, uh, hey, there's a good sign. Walking off the field is uh, Manitowoc's Hunter Saubert. Good to hear that, see that. He's had quite a quarter. And we're ready to get back to action. 
we get back to be a minute. Minute one. Yep. And Ships looking at a very difficult situation if they score for South. Giving it to oh Mahalik on the sweep. Uh, he gets it down inside the five. That was not a good decision by him. He could have gone right to the corner. There was just one ship, excuse me, Red Wing out there, and he had a blocker out in front. 34 seconds. The clock is rolling. 30 seconds. Hand off to Mahalik again. That time he took a little wider, Chris, like you wanted to play before, and he gets it into the end zone. Good run. Good blocking, Manitowoc in the end zone again. And uh, they have uh, lit it up here in the second quarter. Three touchdowns. Mahalik gets that one. Latour on a 60 yarder. Saubert on a 56 yard run. And now Mahalik on a three yard run. And what are they going to do here, Chris? Go for two or kick? Two, I would think. Uh, 34 to 14 right now. Oh, boy. They're trying to figure out what they're going to do. <laughs> Must be a media timeout. Blame it on WSCS-TV. I think it's at Manitowoc radio station. <laughs> They're right next to us. Phil uh, Risto with that comment, the longtime uh, wrestling coach. Wrestling and scoreboard operator here, him and Jamie Bitterland. And if he doesn't start doing a better job, he's going to get fired. Saubert is in to... Uh, Dot the eye on his uh, special second quarter if he can make this extra point. And it's short. <laughs> he just went off with a leg injury, so let's go and kick the ball. <laughs> Good God. point, Chris. <laughs> oh, we've seen some things tonight. All right, 23.1 <laughs> seconds left. Manitowoc on top, 34 to 14 on the strength of a three touchdown quarter. Uh, they've scored 22 points. Three touchdowns and two two-point conversions. Chris, uh, your, uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, football season, you know, that we've done here with the teams we've seen? And that well, they just got to continue the cream to get better. Continue to get better, I guess. Yeah. Um, what about some of the teams we've seen? Yeah, I'll tell you, I, uh, the pier's big. I don't think they're very classy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I do think that they could make some hay for the conference. Um, you, you know, they should be a one seed for sure. That was the most impressive team I saw. Notre Dame, you know, they always drop down to a Division three team. Yeah, we saw them. They offensively. It really helps explosive. when you're playing in a Division I conference, basically, yeah. and then you drop down to a yep. lower division to play. Saubert's kick is out of bounds again. I think it'll be, uh, would be a lot of fun if uh, KLC would end up playing Falls. I think that would just be a nice <laughs> two schools that are, like I said, basically uh, neighbors. Going at it. Saw a good game last week with Howard's Grove. And that was a dandy. And, uh, KLC coming out with the victory at the end there. That reminds you, I gotta check something out here. If I have the sheet, I don't know where I put it. No, I think I lost it. That is our record this year. All right, we got 23.3 seconds, 23.1. Rice in the shotgun, fakes the handoff to uh, Kittleson, breaks to the outside, stiff arms and gets out over to 50 and is knocked out of bounds oh my. at about the 45-yard line and ran into one of his teammates and he's who was out. The official. That should, and you know, you called uh, that intentional grounding, but that was a out of pretty close hit. shot out of bounds there. 
First and 10, they're gonna spot the ball on the 44, 43 yard line. Gee whiz. 22 yard run for Jacob. Helps make up for all those uh, losses he had earlier in the quarter. Just 15 clicks though. Yeah, 15 clicks isn't a lot. Gonna need somebody to break through and get beyond safety how look one way throw the other Gutierrez is uh, shifting to the wide receiver and the ball slipped out of his hand again and goes incomplete 8.8 seconds left see in that situation what you got to do is look this the middle safety way well, here's the run well, let's see if it's if he's out of bounds here Marty uh, that's I would say no I don't know what you think I just I, it's the hit came right on the line, basically, and he was running very fast, hard to stop. Good thing he didn't run into uh, or hurt that injured player or hurt himself on the bench. Now there's two safeties back. Rice uh, throws it a little bit short, probably a good thing because the closest to the ball was uh, the other team. Three, three point seven seconds left. I'll tell you, this is a long 23 seconds. To my last line, Chris. On my sheet. Yeah, there's been a lot of possessions, that's for sure. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Part of that is the turnovers, of course. Well, pending a penalty, this could be the last play of the half. Rice dancing, dancing, looking, throws. Nice catch by Prunick, his first catch of the night. He leans forward and gets it down to about the 33. It'll be a first down, but that's the end of the first half with Manitowoc on top, 34 to 14. I'm Sandra Fry. I'm a union bus driver, and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over 2 million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver could be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. Oh, Dad, wait till you see the bike we got for Jake. Hearing loss happens gradually with age, making it easy to ignore. Yet most older Americans aren't getting their hearing tested. Untreated hearing loss can keep your loved ones from enjoying what they cherish most. Dad, can you hear me? Don't let that happen. Speak up about hearing loss. You'll be glad you did. to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. So high, marching band! Major Melanie Anderson and the band welcomes you to this season's homecoming Afro-Cuban show. The band's first original salsa number entitled Canzone features some excellent time marching by the band and a great little break with some fancy trumpet playing. Please enjoy Canzone!
The band's second song, Fireball, hit the charts in 2014 as a modern Latin chart, including some rap. Tonight, the band would like to welcome our yearly guest, the award-winning Sheboygan South Dance Team. The dance team, dance team is coached by Miss Carly Reinemann. Here's the band and dance team under the direction of drum major Lauren Edson, cranking up Fireball. Before the band plays its final number, the band students would like to take time to thank their parents and guardians for all the support they have shown them over years in music. Please stand up and let's give our band parents and guardians a big sound high round of applause. Stand up, we thank you. For the band's final chart tonight, we leap into the reggae style for something fun. A special thank you goes out to the band's new dance choreographer, Amy Cooper. We also are pleased to share a wonderful flag routine written by our flag coaches, Hannah Van Meter, and performed by some of our dance team members. Here now is drum major Nick Cooper conducting Under the Sea from the movie Little Mermaid.
the South Band would like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Paul Wagner again for his assistance with writing the group. I see the HPV vaccine as cancer prevention, and I will do everything I can to prevent my kids from having to go through what I went through. They have their whole lives ahead of them, and I can't protect them from everything, but I will protect them from HPV-related cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to introduce your 2015 Homecoming Court. We start with our... They fought for social change. They fought against tyrants. They fought for human rights. Yet behind these achievements are individuals who waged a more personal war. They fought the struggle against mental illness. And they won. You're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Now you're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Radon is an invisible radioactive gas that seeps inside your home from underground. Whether you smoke or not, radon can cause lung cancer. Protect your family. Have your home tested. Call 1-800-SOS-RADON. Radon problems can be fixed. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent, because kids in foster care don't need perfection. They need you. This could be a bicycle. Or a bat. This could be a robot. Or an airplane. This could be a playground. This could be a book bag. Or a soccer ball. This could be a book. This could be beautiful. This cannot be trash. This can all be recycled. Learn more at thiscouldbe.org.
Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going! Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly. Like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. I remember how much you said you liked mine. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. I'm bored. Go ride my bike. It may never be this easy to help your kids find balance, but you have more power than you know. For a free Parents Handbook plus other resources, visit the WeCan website. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Did you know that 90% of all eye injuries can be prevented by simply wearing proper eye protection? I'm Dr. Tamara Fountain for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We recommend that every household keep protective eyewear on hand to use during home projects and other activities that can cause injuries. Know your risks, save your sight. To learn more about eye health, visit GetEyeSmart.org. plays and they were averaging 9.6 yards per play and that's just too many chunks of yardage and uh, just you know just a quick blowout here late in the second quarter. Doing the bulk of the carrying was Logan Mahalik. He had 11 carries for 62 yards but it was uh, the uh, kicker who doesn't kick real good hunter Saubert had uh, 69 yards, led all rushers, and he only and he did that in only five carries. Uh, take that back, he was not the leading rusher. Leading rusher for the half was uh, Jacob Rice, 11 carries for 93 yards. He opened the game up with uh, a long touchdown run, a 55-yarder. Uh, he ended up being uh, seven for uh, 12 passing in the half. And uh, I don't know if I'm right or not, Chris, because I was shocked when I came up with this, but I had... Uh, Feast, 7-for-7 seven seven passing in the first half, and I looked through the stat sheets. I didn't see an incomplete pass, and he had 154 yards passing. Yeah. He was pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, he did a nice job throwing the football. Um, Jacob Rice, a little misleading. He carried the ball 11 times, 55 on the first carry, but just 38 yards after that and 10 carries. That's a 3.8 average, and uh, it's tough to run up the middle against Manitowoc. They do get beat on the outside a little bit, but so far, not the case today as South's leading car ball carrier, uh, Matt Kittleson, has been boggled up. Just three carries for eight. Uh, I'm sure you found the same stats as I did. Uh, I had Jake Rathshack as the leading ground, yep. ground 
you know, gainer for a Manitowoc. He only had a couple of carries the whole first half. Yep. Three to be exact for 11 yards. So we don't know if he's hurt or, you know, what the issue is. But uh, Spalding, or not Spalding, uh, Saubert looked pretty good. Yep. And unfortunately, Mantua gets the ball to start with. You're going to have to create some turnovers here, um, get some stops some way, somehow, to get back into it. South finished, by the way, with 166 yards, uh, 101 of those uh, rushing. Well, South had the lead with nine minutes and, excuse me, with eight minutes and 11 seconds left in the second quarter, 14 to 12. And then the last, basically, uh, you know, eight plays Mantwalk took over and guess who's got Sobert's it has got it he's gets to the outside he's over the 50 down to the 40 cuts back and he's still on his feet he avoids a couple of tacklers and finally getting taken out of bounds at about the five yard line I think he ran oh out of my gas. yeah he looked pretty tired at the end didn't he and just what South did not want coming out of the uh, gates of the second half. Saubert with a great return. It's going to be first down and goal. They're uh, putting it down at the five yard line. Well, I think I'd keep it on the ground. What do you think? Saubert off no. left tackle. Latour. No. Latour on the uh, reverse, and he's going to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. They had the announcer faked out. It's a good job we have uh, someone with good eyes. <laughs> you ought to be an umpire, Chris. <laughs> Latour on a run. Well, it took 16 seconds to start the... Uh, There's the long return. And uh, he made a couple of good moves. Some poor tackling again by the south side. Siders, finally, it was uh, Monty Mathis who uh, got him out of bounds. They're going to get Saubert another chance at an extra point kicking, Chris. Kick is up, and does it get through? <laughs> Just barely got over the upright. Know if they score again, don't let him do it because he should have a memory that he made his last extra point. Yeah, as a <laughs> good point. As a senior. Oh boy. Mark. Yeah, that's what I say. Oh boy. I. Uh, that didn't take long. There's no. 11:36, 24 seconds. Yeah, it took 16 seconds for South to get the lead to start the game, and just 24 here in the uh, second half and uh, very disappointing and things were going good they were up 14 to 12. key point in the game was when they got the turnover near yep. uh, in the 30 40 yard line area and they couldn't do anything with it and then uh, the punt yeah. was a shank and yeah manitowoc just came right when back. they fumbled with 8 11 left they were winning 14 to 12 and in the last eight minutes of the second quarter three scores by Manitowoc. I mean, just like that. And there's Maggie Bauer. With a B. Bauer with a B. Trying to get some uh, camera time down there was uh, Braden Kupsch. Another bad kick uh, covered up right at the 40 yard line. So South will get it in great field position. We had mentioned earlier that uh, neither team would be uh, going to the playoffs. This is their last game of the season for the seniors. It's uh, their last hurrah. South had 166 yards in the first half. Make it 167, Chris. Oh, sorry. And then uh, not a, you know, that's not a bad half. <laughs> it's just that's that, not bad, no. Just that uh, Manitowoc was just so much more, almost doubled them. Over doubled him. Rice on a fake handoff gets through the line of scrimmage. He's got an opening, good speed. He gets it down near the 42 yard line. 18 yard run. And there's Jacob, just like in the beginning, found a little hole. Salbert again with the tag. That kid's everywhere, number 22 for the ships. Yeah, he's, he's going to be the player of the game. First down and 10. 
Fake handoff. Rice looks down the field. Throw is, I think the ball might have been tipped. Anyway, it passes incomplete. Jacob was 7 of 12 in the first half. You know what we never did? We never did figure out about how far that kickoff return was. Got it at around the 20 or so, maybe. It was about an 80, 75. 75 yards, yeah. yeah. Crossing patter. Schmidt sat it right in his hands and dropped it. That was a nice pass, Chris. Should have had that one. Right on the money. Right yeah. between the numbers, as they used to say. Hit him in a bad spot. At the hands. Three wide receivers off to the left. Rice fires a dart, has his receiver. Schmitz, who makes the catch, but he's going to be short. I think uh, you could go for this, Chris. Did you run past the line and then come back? Catch that ball. And they have no choice but to go for it, Marty. I, I totally agree. Why not? Fourth down and one. Just a little short of the line. Now here's where you would like them to be able to take the ball under center. They're all starting seven yards in the backfield and uh, too much of a rush and uh, just didn't have enough time to set his feet and the pass goes incomplete by Jacob Rice. And Manitowoc's gonna get it in pretty good field position. Wide receiver out to this side is a young man we haven't seen. Lars Luchterhand. Hand off to McCulloch. And uh, he gets hit at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. No gain. Second down for the ships. Well, Manitowoc hasn't been in this situation very often. A second down and 10. Mihalik in the backfield. Inside hand, no fake. Feast looking deep. He's got his receiver. Nice catch made down to the 46 yard line by uh, Braxton Kyle. I like Braxton Kyle. He's got good hands, runs good routes. Another senior, they have a lot of senior athletes, Marty. That was a 20 yard pickup, Chris. Kyle's got a few catches tonight. Got him for uh, three now. Fumble. Humble, who's on it? South on the recovery. Humble lost. You see it on replay. Looks like the person who lost the ball was uh, Tim McDougall. Not sure on that. But in either case, South has it. At the 47. Rice down the sideline. He's got his receiver, Schmitz, and he's got it at about the 19 yard line. What a play. Here you're going to see it. Good protection. A good protection and a good pass and a nice catch by Schmitz. First and 10 south. Oh, Rice had some time and then he gets sacked. Making the stop for Manitowoc was uh, Holden Collenberg. 
But, uh, oh man, Chris, that's uh, tough to take. Ball is going to be spotted at the uh, 25 yard line. Loss of six on the play. You're going to see it off the corner. Yeah, I came off the corner and went inside. No time that time for Jacob. Nope. Rice looking, he's scrambling, he's going to get hit again in the backfield. Bit of a loss again. It's going to be third down. The ball is spotted at the 28-yard uh, line. It's all taking a lot of time here, Marty. Yeah, another three yards lost makes it uh, third down and 19. Rice uh, with the snap looking, and he gets hit again. Dropped outside the 35 to the 37. Three sacks in a row, Chris. That's a loss of 10. They get a loss of seven. And the ships are gonna drop basically eight men back, put five in the flat, one deep safety, two corners. Gonna just rush three this time. Gonna have to Find a needle in a haystack here. <laughs> yeah, really. Isn't that the truth? Right. Oh. And Rice uh, keeps it and gets it down to the 29-yard line before he's hit. Picks up six on that play. That was 6.46 left. Remember how you mentioned uh, how good the protection was? Yep. It's uh, not there anymore. Nope. We had good protection in the first half. but Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. Jacob is... Running for his life. Yeah. Here again, just three rush, and again, the pocket collapses. And uh, he decides to do, it, do the better idea and just take off and get some positive yards. Mahalik in motion. Handoff oh, up boy. the middle, and there goes uh, Saubert. Oh, he's gone. He's not going to make the end zone, but, boy, he's going to get it awfully deep. Goes down to about the 11-yard line. Holy cow. Just a simple run up the middle, Marty. Just a basic run up the middle. Saubert is just. I got that as 62 yards. Jeez. Gashes the uh, South D. All righty. First down at the 11. Wind the clock. Platerol is uh, in the backfield. Mahalik in motion, they give it to Saubert. And uh, he gets it down to about the uh, five yard line. Give him a gain of six. A lot of big plays again, Marty, tonight. No kid. Sending Eric Wiesman, our cameraman, back and forth up the track. He's gonna be the He's not going to need his jacket. He's going to be so hot and sweaty running up he and down. He could use one of those trucks to go back and forth. Yeah, really. I'm sure the fans would love that. I think he's going to politic for one of those uh, cables. <laughs> Just get a little hand remote control and run the, run the camera back and forth. Give it to Mahalik oh, going gosh. around deep, and he cuts it back up the middle. <laughs> He did or it again. inside. Yeah, that was the right thing to do, though, Chris. It's surprising he didn't get in the end zone. I thought he would have got there. He is going to have the first down, though. I would have gone to the corner. There was nobody there. It looked like it, but I think... He, uh, he could have run into the lake. I'm going to respectfully disagree with you. <laughs> well, why? Because he would have gotten tired by that? Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> well, you can't see it from that, from that angle. Yeah. Uh... Getting over there to help with the stop was uh, Colin Clay Claiborne for South. 
And uh, Saubert in the end zone again. Wow. And Saubert's third touchdown of the night, Chris. He's uh, had quite a night. He's had a one-yard plunge, a one-yard plunge, and a 56-yard plunge. He has 131. No, take that back. I don't think the 56 was a plunge, though, Marty. <laughs> 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 Let's see if he can kick this one a little further. I wouldn't have let him go out there again. Oh, he's that one looked good. He's picking out his momentum. Yeah, really. 517 left in the third quarter. It's Manitowoc 48, South 14, and uh, we're getting awfully close to that 35-point uh, mark, Chris. I was thinking about some of the stuff you asked me at the end of the first half there about the, uh, you know, some of the things we remember is, right. you know, North got a victory, which they haven't had for a number of years, and the excitement of those kids and the excitement of the South kids when they beat North, that was quite a thrill, and Jacob Rice just ran crazy in that second half. Uh, of course, nice to see KLC make the playoffs for the first time in 16 years. Yeah, that's great for them. Yep. One of the bright spots for Sheboygan football. Yep. And, uh, I know there's a lot of youth, and I know the youth programs here in town, they're, they're traveling a lot more. I mean, they took the teams up to Michigan. I went over, and like I mentioned last week, I see KLC. They got a number of kids playing for their youth football, so hopefully it's going to build things for the future. Yeah, exactly. On a rushing-related note, the uh, young man doing the uh, kickoff chores, of course, is Hunter Saubert. Yeah, we mentioned he has three touchdowns, Chris. He also has 138 yards rushing in the game. Seems like he has a lot more. It's a ground ball, and uh, South is going to have it at the 47-yard line. Making the uh, slick pickup was uh, Saul's Dylan Callahan. Now there's a guy that can hit a baseball. Yep. It's going to be uh, first and 10 for the Red Wings. They are down, as you can see, 30, 48 to 14. Rice at quarterback, Kittleson in the backfield. We haven't heard much from uh, Matt. He hasn't touched the ball a whole lot. Fake handoff to Matt. Catches by Ginther. He's in the open. He's got big yardage. He gets it down inside the 35-yard line. Well, that play's been open all day. Schmitz with a... Catch across the middle. Ginther with two now across there. Of course, Schmidt, he missed that one. But uh, that play's worked very well for uh, Coach Rice. 13-yard pickup for Ginther. Looking, looking, faking the uh, inside. Now Rice running to the outside. Throws to his receiver, and it looks like it was intercepted. They're saying no, that he was out of bounds. But uh, making the great attempt for Manitowoc was uh, Peter Pritzel, but uh, the pass will go incomplete. That would be a good one to see on instant replay. <laughs> Check and see if his feet are inbounds when he makes the catch. And did he control it? I think he's in. He was definitely in. There's no question about that. I know he was juggling it, but that official couldn't have seen it. Yeah. But he was in. Run. Rice, oh, makes it. Oh, I thought he was going to get around yep. the corner, but uh, great tackle made. He did make a good move to get as much yardage as he did. You pick up a 40 yards by uh, Jake. Ball spotted at the 30, 29 yard line about. Crossing pattern, catch is made again by Ginther, and he gets knocked down at about the uh, 22 or 23 yard line. It'll be a first down. I just took his, his defensive back down the field and just cut in a little bit. 
Tyler gathering up a few uh, yards of late. Okay, we got uh, wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Gutierrez is wide to the right. Fake handoff to Kittleson. Rice on a deep pattern. He's got, he's got Prunick, and he makes the catch. There's going to be interference, but I think they'll decline that and take the catch down to the six-yard line. Great catch by Mason Prunick. I'd like to find him a little more often, eh, Chris? Yeah, I, I was, <laughs> my mind was working that way the whole time. Haven't called his number enough. 16-yard pickup. Again, uh, Jacob Rice with a great throw. Yep. Four minutes in the third quarter. He's got it. I mean, he just needs to put it together a little more consistently. He had a number of passes slip out of his hand. Kittleson in motion, fake handoff to him. Rice takes it up the middle. Is he going to get in? It looked like his knee went down short, but they're going to give him the touchdown. All right. Nice play that time, Chris. Fake to Kittleson, and Rice takes it right up the middle. Watch his knee. Yep, it did touch before, but we'll give him the touchdown. Who cares? Makes the score 48-20. to 20. Hanging in there. A six yard run and a TD for Rice. That's his second touchdown, Chris. He had that long one to start the game. Now there's a kick. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that one. And it was between the yeah, two between white bars. <laughs> Here's the replay, Marty. Let's see if his knee is down. And, uh, the ball may have been over the uh, goal line. That's the part we can't tell. Yep, good shot there. Yeah. Where's Eric when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Richard Bartson uh, is up on top. It can't be too warm up there. I want to know where the student helpers are. Antonio... And uh, Victor, where are you guys? Get out in the cold. Yeah, we've had some rain this year. Wind. Go hanging out in the truck with Scott. Rain, wind. And the last two weeks have been a little colder than normal. A little colder the last this, two weeks. This is football weather. Oh, yeah. Also, I was looking on the uh, MLB site for the World Series. The last game, if nothing gets delayed, is November 4th. That's pretty late. That's too late in my book. I mean, yep. But what do you think? <laughs> you know, it's very simple, Marty. Just start the season like four days earlier or well, five days earlier. Well, we talked about that, uh, I don't know, the other day. Uh, a couple of friends of mine, you know, cut the uh, spring training a week short. Yep. Just started in indoor stadiums and warm climates. Uh, another, I think we had a different kicker that time. Guess who has it? Oh, and he slips by a tackler, and he's still on his feet before he finally goes down. Sauber takes it up to the 40. Yeah, just start the baseball season one week earlier, and started in Florida and your indoor stadiums, and then California and Arizona. You know, and if the the warm weather cities, Arizona, Florida, don't want to lose the revenue. You know, only have the pitchers and catchers report for a week or so instead of two weeks. Isn't that what it is? Or no. But anyway, back everything up, I guess, a little bit. Just one week. Yep, it's that's all it would take. Baseball in November shouldn't be happening, just like basketball should be played in June. Okay, who is Mr. November? Fumble! Fumble! South has it. I don't know if the Mr. November. Derek Jeter. Platerill on the fumble. Are you going to see it? He gets right there. He gets it stripped. Looks like it might have been Prunick on the strip. It's a third fumble for the ships. Yeah, they've turned it over. That's for sure. South is going to get it. Great field position. Ball is at the 47 of Manitowoc. We still have 335 in the third and a, a long long game tonight. Yep. It's 
what happens when you get a lot of turnovers, a lot of passing. Okay, Rice in the backfield with uh, Kittleson. A lot of wide receivers again. Whoa. And Jacob running for his life again. Yeah, coming in again untouched was uh, Holden Collenberg. He was the one that got Jacob on a sack in the first half. And uh, he was Johnny on the spot right there. He's right there coming in. Look at him, 26. And making the stop. It's going to be second down and 10. Receiver switching sides again. I don't know if they just, they're not sure. They just do that on purpose. Fake handoff. Rice rolling. Short pass, and uh, we'll have to see if no nope. catch. Pass incomplete. It's going to be third and 10. I've got Jacob 5 for 10 this quarter, Chris. That's a lot of throwing. So 12 for 22. He was uh, 7 for 12, yep. you had mentioned that earlier, so he's got almost as many passes in this quarter than he did the entire first half. It's third down. The downsman got second, but it is third. Yep. Good pass protection. Jacob takes it up get the middle. First. He's going to get the first down easily. He's got him. He's got good yardage all the way down before he's finally tackled inside the 15-yard line. Great decision that time, Chris. I'll tell you, he just seems to turn it on, and kid's got a lot of guts. I mean, he just, and he's smart. He'd rather avoid the tacklers than get hit by them. He has nine carries this quarter. Big first down. Yeah, 33 yarder. Ball spotted on the 14, Kittleson in motion. He faked to him, Rice taking it up the middle. He's gonna get a first down. I don't know if he'll get in the end zone. Gets it down to the uh, five yard line. Maybe it'll be a bit short. Well, once again, he avoided a tackler and gained a couple yards. Yep, he's gonna be a couple yards short, but a good run by Jacob. Getting down inside, oh, not inside the ten, five. We'll call it the five and a half. Rice takes it up the middle again, untouched, gets it in the end zone. Great blocking up front. One of the guys throwing a crushing block was Silas Brunn, and it's going to be a touchdown for the Red Wings. Second consecutive six-yard touchdown run for Jacob. Three for him tonight. And I, I might run out of sheets myself, Marty. I never <laughs> run out of times with the football. 2.20 left in the third. Sauls had the ball 12 times already, Marty. Wow, line drive kick is off to the right. Not a very good snap and set. Flores, Gorillo Flores missed that extra point. Now it's 48 to 27. Rice has a couple of three touchdowns, Chris, on the ground and one touchdown pass, so he's had quite a night, too. We're still in the third quarter. Yeah, right. Lots of time left. 220. I will definitely you know. be uh, looking for space to write because I've only got five lines left. Hey, South <coughs> has scored in, uh, what do I got here, a minute 26? in a minute 15. If you could just get some stops, you never know. You just never know. You just got to stop the ships. Seems like right now Mantwalk doesn't have an answer for uh, the uh, south offense. And we've got a lot of time left. I've got Rice with uh, 65 yards and 11 carries this quarter. Uh, to go along with his uh, 93 in the first half in 11 carries. So he's carried the ball 22 times. Now well, he's got... Uh, Wasn't Tim Tebow number 10? Uh-uh. He was a single number. Well, I thought he was... Oh. Uh, picked up at about the 38-yard uh, line. Ryan Schultz, don't mispronounce that name, uh, gathered it in. 
It's going to be first and ten Manitowoc. Ball is spotted on the 39-yard line. Saubert in the backfield. Feast under center. They give it to McCulloch. Tries to cut it up inside and uh, picks up about three or four yards. Second down and six. That's a better stop there. Logan Hamilton, number 99. Just a junior. Clock running under two minutes now. Mahalik again, probing, and uh, gets it up over the 50 into South Territory and has a first down. Nice patient running that time by the big fullback. Minute 35 and counting. Forty-eight, twenty-seven. One thirty and running. Manitowoc establishing their ground game again. Actually, not again. They've been, uh, been able to do this all game. Inside handoff, Saubert. He falls forward near the 36-yard uh, line or so. But uh, I believe he's got enough for the first down. Eleven yard pickup. He's had some long runs, Chris. I mean some super long runs, sixty two and fifty four, I believe, and now this eleven yarder. Ay ay ay. And the kickoff return too. Yeah, yeah, right. Good point. Oh, Up geez. the middle again. He's got a first down down to about the twenty two or twenty three yard line. Another big pickup. Yeah, they just shred that that front line, Marty. They just shredding it apart. You're absolutely right. 15 yarder. Jeez. It's 10 yards, 10 yards, 10 yards, 15 yards. Under a minute. And it's walk, not in a gigantic hurry. This is unbelievable. Mahalik in motion. Give it to the other back. Platert. Aaron Platerl, pardon me. He gets a nice pickup. Going to be second down and two. He picks up eight on that play. That's going to be the quarter, Marty. Guess what? I only had a dip down one line below. All right, that's going to be the end of the quarter. Chris is right. At the end of three quarters of play, Manitowoc on top. 48-27, and they're knocking on the door. Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public educational and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. The preteen years are a challenging time, but they're also a good time to think about your child's health, which is why, if you're the parent of an 11 or 12 year old, you need to know about preteen vaccines. Vaccines that can protect your preteen from meningitis, whooping cough, and for girls, the virus that causes cervical cancer. So schedule a checkup for your child today and ask about preteen vaccines because your preteen might think that they're grown up, but they're counting on you to know better. Brought to you by DHHS and the CDC. Back at uh, South High School, Manitowoc has a second down and two. They've been uh, on the march. Get East it. Uh, tries to lob it to... Uh, Sobert, and uh, I believe, Chris, if I'm keeping good enough stats, that's his first incompletion. Yep, and they haven't had to throw very much. I don't know why they're throwing here. Yeah, right. Well, just mix it throw up, him a I guess. bone a little bit, keep <laughs> your quarterback happy. <laughs> there you go. Why do I always have to keep handing it off? 
because we're successful at it. Yeah, and you don't get the run either. <laughs> <laughs> he scored it a couple times, but uh, get a stop here, boys. Get a stop. Get a Pollock stop. Bouncing to the outside, and he's still battling before he gets pushed back. Close. He did get close. He's short, though. They're running the clock, which means he didn't get it. I'll tell you. I'd go for it. I mean, come on, boys. One timer. One timer. Come on, boys. Be big. Be big. Come on now. He's uh, heading he over to the sideline. Wants to know what to do. They're going to wind up getting a penalty, Chris. It's going to take them too long. A tour coming in. Yeah. At the play. They're up at the line he's, quickly. and they're, He's a decoy. They're not waving anything here. Sobert. Get him. Fullback. Get him. Mahalik in get motion. Him. They get give him. it to Sobert oh, up the middle. He's push. wide open. And dives into the end zone. Another touchdown for Hunter Sobert from 13 yards out. Yeah. Well, he may have got the score, but let's give that one to Isaac Pethon as he led the kickout block. Watch number 42. Boom. And he just followed Isaac, and that's why he got the score there. Sometimes it's not the ball carrier, but the guy's doing the dirty work. Oh, for sure. That's, uh, I think it's mostly the case, actually. Fourth touchdown. Yep, he's having a night, for sure. Oh, bad snap, but a good set, and nails it. 55-27. 28 point spread. Yep, after South had a little bit of a roll there. Back to back <coughs> scores quickly. A nice three minute, 20 second drive is a short field though. I mean, both teams, their kickoff, boy. You know, I've let each team have short fields. That one was, where did that one start? About the 40 again, Marty? Oh, yeah, it's on the bottom sheet, Chris. Yeah, the 39-yard line. Yeah. And uh, it was a pretty quick drive, too. It didn't take 330. Too long. Or, yeah. Excuse me, 320. I know where that uh, schedule sheet is. I <laughs> put it from the last game. Uh, we got a win last week, Chris. We got three wins this year, and we'll have four losses. So, But that's actually better than uh, some of the years we've had. Last year. Oh. Uh, we the only win I think we had was the North-South North game. North-South game. <laughs> Oops. That's not too good. So we'll take three, even and though we didn't finish old, over 500. We're old in our short-term memory. <laughs> okay, doesn't forget that one too uh, quickly. Some things you don't forget, right, exactly. Well, he's Sauber trying to do something right. I mean, he hasn't kicked off very well. Why would you fair catch that? <laughs> Have some fun, boys. It's going to be eight months, nine months before he can hit anybody again. And Tanner Schmidt, he's never going to play again after tonight. Probably not. City League flag football, maybe. Which I don't even think they offer. <laughs> I think there's flag football yet in town. Well, I think uh, actually out in the county, one of the yep. communities has it, I think. Oops. Whoa, Rice took his eyes off the ball, but he was able to gather it in. He's going to get sacked back at the 10 yard, 20 yard line, a 14 yard loss. May have, when he did refocus, Isaac Pethon was right in his wheelhouse. Here as he gathers up the ball, next thing he looks, oh, there's number 42. Hello. Second down and a bunch. Good blocking up front. Throw is made and Ginther makes the catch outside the 30. I mentioned the seniors, Marty, before we get done here from South, playing their last game. It's 
Going to be uh, third down and 11 for uh, South. Nice play. Fake handoff. Rice goes up the middle and uh, Gutierrez is not able to uh, catch up to it. Pass goes incomplete. Ten seniors. Fourth down. Ten seniors for South. You'd like to see about 20 per class. Yeah, I hear you. Well, Schmitz uh, struggled tonight with his punting. Let's see it's if he can get a good punt. one here. He said he came into the conference with the most punts this year. and He'll get a roll, though, this time. Yep. It's going to... Uh, the uh, touchdown at the 36 yard line. Best one, 33 yards. Manitowoc will get it back. See if they uh, continue on with their uh, first regulars. Stringers. Yeah, first stringers. Looks to be some fresh, well, maybe not. Some clean jerseys. At least on the offensive line. That's the worst thing that could happen. Leave the starting backs in there with the second team line. Of course, it is the last game of the year. Feast hands it off to Mahalik. Cuts it up the field, gets it up over the 40. Again, uh, good patient running by that young man. Picks up about uh, six yards. Second down. Give it to Platerol. He gets through, gets knocked down at the 50 yard line. Aaron Platerol on that pickup gets uh, eight yards. First down for. Uh, there you see it. We've seen all night. An eight, nine, ten yard run for the ships. Yeah, what did you, how did you phrase it? I said slashing or gashing, what'd you call it? Same thing. Same yeah. thing, yeah, it's been happening all night. There you go. Out in the backfield and uh, taken down. Let's see who gets off the bottom of the pile, Chris. That defender. Well, Hamilton's one of them, but uh, the big hit. Oh, there we go. Was Mewson again. He's yeah. made some big hits tonight, Marty. He's, uh, yeah, he's been around the ball for sure. Just a sophomore, too. So he'll be back. A lot of guys back on this team, Marty. We need some uh, some front line support, offensive linemen, D linemen. A couple more guys to throw in there, but uh, a lot of guys coming back. A lot back of for wide South. receivers on this set, Chris. And of course, they hand it off. Yeah. Ah. Saubert gets it uh, down into South Territory. Yeah, trying to spread it out, Marty. And uh, slide up through, right? Third down, seven yards to go. All in South Territory at the 47. Feast at quarterback, he's been there all night. Fakes, good blocking. Throw over the oh. middle, the pass goes incomplete. Oh, a lot of interference there. Uh, making the defensive play was Tanner Klessig. <laughs> we ain't calling that. Classing a, one of the seniors. For south. Oh, we got a punter. First punt of the night. Yep, this is uh, David Latour. The uh, nice wide receiver for the ships. will do the punting. He got a, a lot of leg into that one. And uh, leaving it bounce and making a good choice was A.J. Gutierrez. It's a good choice by him. South will have it first and 10 at about the 15 yard line, just short of the 16.
Yeah, let's make it the 16. 7.08 remaining in the fourth quarter. And the season, for that matter, for these two squads. 15th time South has had the ball, Marty. Wow, that's a lot of possessions. It is a lot of possessions. Good move. Oh, Jacob just tripped up. Made a great move on the first defender. And then the second Manitowoc defender was able to get his leg. And, uh, you know, Zach Meyer. Here's some substitutes now. Right That's there. good things for. I don't think we mentioned uh, Rick Duquette, the uh, coach of Manitowoc. Not much, no. Get uh, his, some of his players in. Good idea. Absolutely. Dylan Martins, 53 is the center for South. Good catch by Schmitz. I uh, met Dylan in the hallway at uh, Wilson School a few weeks ago and said I'd make sure I mentioned something about him. Big kid. Looked like a, he should be a basketball player too. He get one about 6'5 or so. It's a first down for the Red Wings. You and I never saw six feet anything. <laughs> no. Except in our face. That's for <laughs> sure. We played hoops. <laughs> Dylan Martin's been doing a good job getting those snaps back to uh, Jacob too. Fake handoff to uh, Kittleson and then the pass goes incomplete. I tell you, Matt Kittleson didn't get the ball a lot tonight. He uh, touched it three times in the first half. He got kind of, Gunther kind of got hit down the field and got his pattern taken away. Number 44, Zach Myers, kind of hit him a little bit down the field. And uh, that's why he, he couldn't get to the ball. Flowers in motion. He gets the uh, little pitch. And he fumbled the ball, oh boy. and Manitowoc gets it back. He's put the ball on the turf a couple <laughs> times tonight, Marty. Yeah, he's, uh, well, it's part of that being a freshman. You've got to tuck it in, you know, learn how to carry the ball. Got to get a little stronger over the offseason. Yep. Here you'll see Good it. Point. Nice carry, and then just, just strip it. it. Yeah, just lost it. Mistakes like that, and varsity football hurt you. First down, Manitowoc. Ball spotted on the 34 yard line. Hand off Mahalik. He got taken down hard. I hope he's okay. South guys pick him up. That's nice and classy. And the reason he got taken down hard is I think he was grabbed by the face mask. They're going to tack some yardage. Going to the uh, north direction, back to Manitowoc on this one. Let's see it. Check the helmet. Ooh. It's hard to tell. Oh, yeah. Easy one to call, I thought. I think it was Silas Brunn. It's second down in about five. Inside handoff to Platerill, and uh, he gets it down inside the 25. It looks like it's going to be a first down. He's one of the only juniors we really mentioned tonight. They pretty, you're right, they're uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much senior laden. First down and 10, ball spotted on the 23. At least at the skill positions, Marty. Their front line's more junior oriented. Fake hand on, oh, he did give it to the first back through. Oh. And getting it down to the 10 yard line on a nice run was uh, Tim McDougal. He's a sophomore, and he showed a good burst. Five minutes left in the season. 
Putting it right on the 10 yard line. It's first and goal at the 10. Picked up 13 yards on that run. Thirteen for thirteen. Fake handoff. Feast is a sack back outside near the twenty-yard line. Making the sack was uh, no. Kyle Alvarez. No, uh, new quarterback Marty wasn't Feast. It was Brendan Bant. Bant gets Junior, sacked. Number five. Welcome to varsity football. <laughs> Loose lost seven on that play. Four minutes and 15 seconds left in the ball game and the season. All right. Brandt hands it off. I didn't catch who the ball carrier was. 33 again, Marty. Okay, play Lateral. Roll. Houston on the tackle, number 28. Third down, gets the ball down to the 15, only a two yard pickup, but it does keep, keep the clock running. Third and goal. Logan Hamilton on the tackle too. It's hard to believe he's a junior already, Marty. Yeah, really. Jeez. We talked about this before earlier in the season, but it, it seems just like yesterday he was an eighth grader playing with us on Fridays. He might Tucking well. it down and running. Why not? Yeah, Brandt uh, got it down near the 10 before he gave up some ground, but uh, made a great decision on that play. Set up fourth down. Why Put not try to get in the end zone, kid? Good job. Yeah, exactly. Had a ways to go, but this will set up fourth down and 11. And Ball on the 11 yard line, it's uh, fourth and goal. Splitting out to the right is uh, Lars Luchterhand, He's a big tall kid. Brandt rolling, looking that way to Luchterhand, throws it up and incomplete. Actually not a bad play, Chris. Throw it up to the taller wide receiver and try and make him make a play, but uh, couldn't come up with it. It's gonna be first and 10 for South. 2.32 left. Well, little surprised South doesn't put in some guys, but maybe they don't have a lot. That uh, could be. Mason Prunick out there. Uh, Rice uh, in the line. We've got uh, Evan Horn and uh, Cameron Baldwin. We mentioned Dylan Martins. Rice slips through a couple of tacklers, gets it up to about the 17. Give him a gain of six. Silas Brun on the other side at tackle. Kittleson in motion, fake a flip to him. Rice keeps it. He's through the line of scrimmage and fumbled the ball, and Manitowoc has it at the 26 yard line. Oh my. Third turnover for South. Manitowoc has it on the 26 yard line, first and 10. Wow. Well, you keep track of the turnover. I've yeah. got it down here, but I have to look yeah. through all the sheets. Three turnovers for each team. Okay, that's all? Seems yeah. like a lot more. Yeah. Dylan Hendrickson on the carry. That's good to let some of these kids play. Yeah, I hear you. I'm with you there. It's going to be second down for Manitowoc. Give him a five gain of five. Yeah. 
Hendrickson in the backfield along with uh, Pladero at quarterback. Chris mentioned it, uh, Braden Bant. Good idea. I like and this too. And he's going to kneel it down with uh, just over a minute left. Like it. That's classy. Yep, no why? reason. Yeah, why? Yep. For? No reason to get anybody else hurt. And I know we mentioned it down. quite a bit this year, Marty, but our camera guys are, they do a good job. We got good guys. And, the uh, A team. Yep, and our directors are always here giving up their Friday nights. We love doing this, and we're just glad we have support from the community. And we hear a lot of people out there saying they watch our games, so. As long as there's people out there, I guess you and I will continue doing it. Yeah. We certainly enjoy it. It was, uh, wish we could have got a few more wins, but it was uh, really a lot of fun for us to be doing these ball games. I yep. know the community enjoys it. The kids enjoy it, too. Uh, Chris, I know, is very appreciative of uh, our season. I am, too. Uh, we want to thank the crew one more time. Scott Mela, our director. Richard Bartson running the top camera. Eric Wiesman running the sidelines. Uh, seniors, student helpers tonight, Victor Contreras and Antonio Hawking. Thanks a lot, guys, for showing up. Uh, I'm Mike Martin, and for my partner, Chris Wright, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, stay tuned to uh, WSCS because uh, we'll have our basketball schedule coming out and. Uh, we look forward to the basketball season. So again, one more time, Manitowoc winner 55-27. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road.